Crazy ants. Crazy ants. Crazy ants are invading Florida. They're trekking across Texas. Are these things in Oklahoma? Believe it or not, these ants could be coming soon to a backyard near you. So they're from Central South America, Northern Argentina, Southern Brazil. But they were introduced into Colombia, and there are huge pests there. And they, they call them uh, hormiga loca, the crazy ant. If you go in these environments that are heavily invaded by this ant, anywhere you put your hand down, you get covered in ants. I mean, they're everywhere. If you saw in that video how they were just kind of all moving almost randomly across the space, that's how they are in the house too. So they're sort of, I mean, there may be, there may be trails, but the trails are very wide and, and sort of diffuse. And it's opportunistically nesting. So it'll nest in anything, pot, old plywood, a box. And so as a result, it's transported really easily from place to place. They also really uh, damage electrical equipment. And they do that because they, they move into switch boxes and pumps and points between pumps and they form bridges between the electrical contacts and they short them out. So this ant is a, it's an omnivore, which means it eats both insects and sugary honeydew. It's ecologically dominant, which means it's extremely good at monopolizing food resources. It kicks other ant species off of them, including fire ants in these environments. So at least in some areas, the red imported fire ant people love so much is, is going to go away. <laughs> imported fire ants are, you know, the 300 ton gorilla out there in Texas ecosystems these days. They've been there for 40 years and they have really altered the system. And they've altered it in such a way that the system has adjusted to the presence of imported fire ants. The things that can't tolerate fire ants are gone. The things that can have flourished, new things have come in. The system has sort of changed around fire ants. And so now we're going to go through and we're going to whack the fire ants and we're going to put something that has very different biology in instead. And there's going to be a lot of uh, changes that, that come from that. I do a lot of work in these environments that are invaded. And when you talk to folks who live there, they tell you they want their fire ants back. They want them back because fire ants are in some ways very, uh, very polite. They live in your yard. They form a mound. They stay there. And they only interact with you if you step on their, on their mound. It does not engage in alate flights, unlike fire ants, so that means that it can only spread through colony fission, so that you end up with this sort of amoeba-like spread from population centers where it's introduced. So it's pretty, so localized, local spread is fairly slow. The problem is that people move them around so much, there's many, many, many introductions that are happening all the time, and that's why they're spreading across the landscape, not because they're sort of getting there on their own. It's, it's all about people moving them around.